Hello everyone! Welcome to another session of Slay at Home, your quarantine makeup workshop. It's me, Rai Kontawi. Well, sadly, nandito na tayo sa session 7 out of 7, which makes it the finale session for this whole workshop. I know mixed emotions. I'm quite happy because I'll be able to rest after this. But also a huge part of me, I must say thanks because I've been putting a lot of, basically all of my time and efforts for the past two weeks to come up with this workshop for every one of you. So with that said, if you've learned something, hear me out. Bago tayo magsimula, I'd like to give my special thank yous to everyone who made this workshop a success. To our guests for being so game, supportive, and informative, maraming maraming salamat. To Pat for actually coining the, the workshop names, Lay at Home. And of course, to you who decided to engage and to really join this workshop. Pag-usapan naman natin ang ating uh, topic for today, bago tayo talagang tuluyang masepangs. Um, so previously, pinag-usapan natin ang contour and highlight, which is, you know, in short, sculpting. And natutunan ninyo kung saan yung ilalagay ang sculpting and bronzing, what not to do, what to do to really achieve that flattering contour and highlight. So, ngayon naman, pupunta na tayo sa face color and sa lips. So, sa face color, which is, you know, basically, it's, it's blush and lipsticks or lip products. Color brings life to the face, as in literal, especially when it's on the cheek area and on the lips area. Imagine, di ba, walang kulay yung mukha mo, lalo na sa pisingi mo at sa labi mo, maputla. It's either may sakit ka, or talagang kung wala ka ng kulay buong katawan mo, knock on wood, deads ka na, di ba? Kapag wala ka ng makeup, pag naglagay ka ng blush and ng lip color, immediately, as in, parang made up ka na. Parang, okay, pag nagmamadali ka, di ba, okay, blush na lang, tsaka yung lips na lang, okay, I'm done, so okay na. Because, Blush and lips, usually, dito nagpa-flush or dito na nakikita yung, yung flush or yung, um, yung kulay ng dugo natin. And of course, when you have blood, you're alive. At naisip kong i-highlight yung drunk blush look at saka yung gradient lip because yung drunk blush kasi, you will go a little bit extra on the blush. So it's going to practice you kung paano mo makokontrol yung paglalagay mo ng blush, the right placement of the blush, and also how will you make like an extra blush, look natural. Like, paano mo magagawa yun in such a way na hindi siya overly done. So that's actually a good practice for blush. And the gradient lip, because kapag maglagay ka ng lipstick na isang stroke lang, that's easy, you know, that's what we normally do. But gradient is about also mixing shades, combining shades together to achieve that gradient and parang will try to achieve yung parang mas plump na lips. So it's also a practice of your creativity. Simulan natin sa blush at importante na malaman ninyo ang inyong face shape. So kung hindi niyo pa napapanood yun, nasa contour and highlighting yun. So go ahead and check that out. At kapag nalaman niyo na yung face shape niyo mas madali na because it's almost the same principle as contouring. Say for example, for my face shape na heart, adding color, adding blush is still adding, you know, color on the face. So meaning, for example, nag-blush ako, like heart. Pag nag-blush ako under, knee, or like under my cheekbones, mas aangat pa rin yung cheeks ko. Same as like contour, di ba? Basically and universally, sundan nyo lang yung natural face shape niyo. Just smile and just apply it on the apples of your cheeks. At bilang mas free kayo to play around with blush, instead of the do, sasabihin ko na lang yung mga don'ts. Number one, yung mga deeper shades or mga deep shades ng blush like maroon, ay um, nakakapag-deepen din yun, nakakapag-darken yun ng skin tone natin. And also, magmumukha siyang or pwedeng magmukhang sunburn. Naturally, may pagka-blue tone yung natural nating blush. So, if you're looking for, let's say, that natural flush of color, go for mga pinks. And also to, for example, masyadong blue tone yun, um, go for yung mga rose, yung mga warm rose type of shades. Say for example, the color of my, ito yung damit ko, so hindi siya masyadong peach, hindi siya masyadong orange, hindi rin naman siya masyadong blue tone na tipong magva-violet na siya. Sunod, babalansihin mo yung intensity at saka yung tone ng colors. Let's say for example, yung eyes mo smoky tapos brown, so medyo may pagka-warm. Tapos babanatan mo ngayon ng cool tone na pink, as in bright, medyo bluish pink. Tapos putok din, vivid din, no? Mag, halos mag-neon na ang iyong blush. Tapos, if finishing touch mo ngayon ng dark na lips, tapos warm tone din, eh di nagkakagulo yung mukha mo, di ba? Parang hindi mo alam kung sa katitingin. So, it's all about like the the intensity again. So, for example, medyo putok na sa mata, medyo i-dye down mo na sa cheeks at saka sa labi or, or sa cheeks lalo na. And syempre, match the shades of your blushes. 
So before, kapag kanyari, morena, usually sinasabi ko, okay, match it with also like a deeper shade of blush. You know what? It's not the case. When you use like a deeper shade of blush, sa deeper ang skin shade, Again, yung concept na kapag deeper ang shade ng blush, mas nangingitim yung skin tone mo. So, mas nangingitim ka. Mas nagiging parang dark overall. Compared to, let's say, morena ka, and then you match it with somewhat like a corally shade of pink, talagang mas magiging buhay or mas maglalagay ng buhay or mas maglalighten up ang inyong mukha. Sa labi, basic. Kahit ano pang gawin ninyo sa labi ninyo, ang pinaka-importante, keep them healthy. Keep them high, like moisturized, yung hindi parang toyo at chappy. Kasi kahit ano pang lip style ang gawin ninyo, kahit ganun nyo kagaling i-blend yung kulay, kung talagang parang disyerto at talagang nagbibitak-bitak ang labi mo, it's not pleasing and it's not flattering. Basic don'ts lang para ma-achieve mo ang iyong natural looking lips. Avoid gray tones. Magmumukha kang patay. Avoid orange shades, yung mga too orange, lalo yung mga vivid because mas magmumukhang madilaw or mas, if let's say for example, if you want to achieve like whiter teeth, avoid orange shades. Kung morena kayo, I would go for, so then yung natural na kulay ng labi ninyo, then add a little red to it, then add a little parang cool tone kahit pa paano. And then pag maputi kayo, yan babagay yung mga baby pink, mga peach, yung mga uh, coral. Again, wag yung mga neon. Alam niyo yung Korean na papanood yung K-drama minsan, ang puputi nila, tapos sobrang neon ng labi. To be honest, pet peeve ko yun because it really looks unnatural. So kahit na gradient siya, tapos biglang neon pink, parang... Hmm. And then kapag medium, nako, maximize your skin shade na para medium because sobrang ang ganda ng mga reds. Sa akin, I love reds. Like, deep reds. Yan, kahit papano yung mga maroons ng konte and yung mga nudes na huwag masyadong angat sa labi, okay din. Mga corals, bagay din yan. But for me, it's really nice if you have like a medium shade, go for like mga reds. Be, embrace reds because they're... Um, Parang ang ganda nilang accent sa labi. Paano ngayon mag-match ng blush and lips? So basic lang. Let's say for example, peach ang iyong blush. So match it or pair it with let's say like a deep brick red. Yung mga may konting browns ganyan. Yan, babagay yan sa mga peach na blush. And then kapag cool tone naman, let's say may pagka-pink, may pagka-bluish pink, match it with like a uh, a mauve yung may pagka na nagiging violet na siya. May pagka-red violet. Basta, basta cool tone din yung labi. Because you would see kapag contrasting ang iyong blush sa labi, kitang-kita eh, kapag warm, pag let's say uh, sobrang cool tone pala ng iyong blush, tapos sobrang warm ng labi, makikita mo agad yung parang, ha, huh, parang may hindi, nag, may hindi nag-jive. So it's a matter of choosing the right shades na kahit papano ay eh, nagbi-blend together. So wag masyadong contrasting. Coming up, celebrity makeup artist who mastered the drunk blush and also the artist na trusted ni Nadine Lustre will be with us right after this break. For today's special guest, syempre, I, 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 I feel like well, hindi kailangan na masyadong intro, pero sh he is um, the brains and the creative hands behind the iconic looks of number one, Nanja Ana, si Vice Ganda. You've worked with Vice, you've worked with Catriona Gray, at syempre, hindi mawawala ang iyong ultimate news, Nadine Lustre. Ladies and gentlemen, Jelly Eugenio! Woo, clap to me. <laughs> so hello everyone to um to everyone watching this. Um yeah, my name is Jel Eugenio. I am 26 years old, just to let everyone know because everybody thinks that I'm older than that, but I'm only 26. Um who else? James Basami yung millennial Labatch. Okay, so um yeah. <laughs> So um, I started make up uh, maybe like 11, 10 years ago. Matagal na, but of course, not all of that is professional. I really practiced a lot for maybe five or six years. And, you know, um, I consider na professionally mga six pa lang talaga na, you know, working as a professional makeup artist. I don't even want to call myself like a professional makeup artist because I didn't go to a school. So first I, muse is actually as in Harvard for me and TM. I, actually, I have a video for this if you want to learn more about how I started, you know, the challenges. But yeah, and then I met Nadine Industre, which eventually became my muse for this generation. Yeah, so when I said Nadine is my muse, and yeah, there. And it started from there, no, you've made such iconic looks and and I base ko lang din to kay Nadine. Your looks kay Nadine very prominent. I mean, nakitang kita talaga yung flush of color, even though like liners lang yung ginagawa mo. Mm -hmm. 
pero like the 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 life of color so what makes a drunk blush drunk blush okay so let's start with that actually my makeup style i think also is high contrast i call it high contrast because i want every single color to pop i don't want I it na parang it. lalapitan mo na ganun saka mo makita i want it even from afar you know that there's blue there's pink there's green there's whatever so that's how i do my makeup and i want the black to be black so yeah, with the colors sa facing with it, it took us maybe three years to really find her look. So kung, if you will go way back, kasi sobrang experimental lahat. Right, right. She looked, she looked sweet, she looked super a girl. Umabot yung isa ganun na parang may mga dinidikit pa kami na whatever <laughs> sa <laughs> face na mga. So sa may experimental na face. But when we found her look na parang nag kumbaga nag nagmeet na in between yung yung style niya yung bagong evolved na style niya and the makeup na kailangan doon na namin nahanap and then also a few years ago there yeah let's talk about the drunk blush and a lot of people attack me when i say that we coined the term drunk blush mm. because i think simula nung ginamit namin yung term na drunk blush it spread out like oh this drunk blush it's drunk blush yeah, but before know. drunk blush nobody called it anything it was just blush yeah. Nobody called it drunk blush. Tapos sasabihin nila sa akin na, ay, nauna na, dati pa nag-drunk blush si Regine. Pero narinig mo ba si Regine na sinabi na naka-drunk blush ako? So parang ganun. So nung tinerm namin siya, actually may mga sasabi na, ang tagal na yan, whatever, blah, blah, blah. But you never called it anything. Yeah. So we thought how to to call it something like a term. So yeah, we came up, I came up with the term drunk blush also inspired by um, Igari Makeup from Japan, which is the mm-hmm. hangover look. So, yun yung naglalagay ka ng blush sa under eye para mukha ka kang lasing. Mukha kang lasing, ganun siya. Uh-oh. But yung sa amin, what we considered, yeah, we considered na yung placement dapat bagay sa mukha nila din and bagay sa mga Filipina. So, we placed it um, not under the eye but like on top of the cheeks and above the nose. So, hindi siya sa under eye, hindi rin siya sobrang baba, hindi siya sa gilid but it focuses on the center of the face and across the nose. So that's the proper placement of it. So hindi siya buong ganito, it's only on the center. So yun yung fault ng iba na parang pag drunk blush sila, hanggang buong umabot dito. Buong siya na ganun. No, dapat center lang siya. It's like here and here. So, and then the proper colors, actually there's no proper color. The Koreans love also doing this style, but I'm not saying that ginayin nila sa amin because no, they, it actually is inspired by the Koreans also who do that. And they kind of like, um, the modern Korean people, ang blush nila di brownish. I, I think you know this. It's not pink mm-hmm. anymore. Yeah. They have changed their style. It's not pink. It's not baby pink. It's not intense pink. They like the nude tones. So if you want it to look more modern, you can go for the nude tones. You can even use your lipstick para magmatcha. Mm-hmm. So that's the best. Uh, but for Nadine, somehow it's surprising because she has quite intense morena skin. So hindi siya mapute. Di na mas ka kadark, but she's the perfect morena. Mm-hmm. And then, we use actually a super bright pink. Pero pag nilagay mo sa skin niya, nagmamatch lang siya na parang, yun nga, from afar, kita mo na nakablush siya. Tapos mukha lang siyang fresh na fresh. Pero, I don't know, it just works with her, but it doesn't work with other people. It's just special for Nadine. What type of blush do you use to achieve yung ganong effect? Well, um, yeah. actually, I like using powder blushes for Nadine mm. because um, she, kumbaga, hindi kasi siya mahilig magparitouch. So, mm-hmm. kailangan yung makeup na ilalagay ko ngayon, matte. And then, later on, pag nag-oily na siya ng konti, magkaka-glow siya. So, mm-hmm. hindi mo pwede siyang i-glow na ngayon kasi later on, oily na siya. Mm-hmm. So, kumbaga, matte siya ngayon, pagdating niya sa event, glow na siya. So, ganun yung effect ng makeup. But definitely, kung everyday lang talaga, it's best if you use a tint and it lasts longer if may tint pero um, sometimes din kapag sinisipag ako ilalagyan ko ng layer ng tint or ng cream blush or ng lipstick and then papatungan ko pa siya ng powder para mas kapit talaga if the day is long so ah, so pwede yun like talagang tint and then pow- ng powder so hindi siya talagang parang uy nagtosino ako <laughs> sobrang pula yes may, may technique kasi speaking of tint I know kasi I've asked um, I've asked let's say my viewers then kung ano yung go-to product nila. And marami nagsasabi ng tint. And the reason why tint is that because um, multi-purpose siya for the cheeks at saka para sa labi. Which is the perfect topic ngayon because we're talking about like the lips uh, and the lips and the cheeks. So for you, 
Um, number one, are you a fan or do you like using tints on yourself? Lalo na sa ating mga viewers na who's doing makeup on, on themselves. And follow-up question is, paano mag-apply ng tint properly nang hindi siya nagkakaroon ng stain mark? Alam mo yung paglagay tapos pag na yung tint. Yeah, 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 yeah. Alam na doon ka yes, nagsimula, yes. yun ang starting point. Paano yeah. ang perfect application ng tints? Okay, so I'm not a big fan of tint if I'm doing it professionally. But definitely kung sa sarili ko, I definitely will use a tint. And mm -hmm. kung babae ako, sakit ko, merong tint. Pero hindi naman ako mahilig sa blush kasi medyo mapula na talaga yung balat ko. So kung personal, a tint is a really, really good thing to have. Uh, kasi nga multi-purpose, it's so easy to apply. But you just need to, yun, with the application, para hindi siya mamuo, of course, you cannot apply it on top of super powdered skin. Yung parang nakaset ka na eh, tapos nilagay mo siya ng tint. Kasi pag nilagay mo siya sa powder, it will cling to the powder. Kasi, hmm. di ba, parang it's powder and then you're applying a liquid heating. Pag nilagay mo doon, para siyang ma-absorb bigla ng powder. So, it will have stain in there. So, may happen ka. So, better if your skin is pump and dewy, parang you are moisturized, um, hindi ka pa nagpa-powder, nag-foundation ka, pero wala ka pang powder, that's the best time to apply your tint. And also, um, Ano pa ba? Uh, meron din naman kasing mga tint na pagkalagay mo pa lang talaga, intense na siya. And meron naman mga blendable. So, piliin mo din syempre kung saan ka sanay. But the best ones are of course the blendable the blendable ones. Kasi I know merong, kapag medyo affordable, sikat yung Everbilena. Pero, tinry ko yan dati. Nasa kotse kami, di makeup sa amin. Ay, parang kulang pa. Laro-laro lang kami sa kotse ni Nadine. Pagbaba namin, oh my God, pulang-pula kaming lahat. Kasi akala namin, <laughs> ano lang, yung cheer lang sa ng kotse. Ito ba yung tube? Yung, yung sa tube? Yung tube. Oh, kasi, may kasama kami na nasa makeup kit niya. So, naglaro-laro. Ay, amin na yun, maganda yan. Lagi natin. Yun yan. Oh. So, super long ago. At pagbaba namin lahat ng kotse. Oh my God, pulang-pula kaming lahat. Kasi hindi namin alam. So, yung mga ganun, akala mo, sheer lang siya. Pero, you have to also face that perfect light, na tamang light from my infrared window. Uh -huh. Sa loob ng car, it's deceiving kasi yung pag may black na tint, grabe yung mm -hmm. nasisilter niya pala. So, ito ba yung tint kasi na translucent or parang gel, yung hindi siya opaque? Diba? Ito ba yun? Oo, oo. Yung madaya siya, para siya pag nilagay mo siya, para siyang translucent. Tapos, tin mo alam habang tumatagal na pumupula siya ng pumupula ng pumupula as in intense na red na siya. So, daan-daan din kayo dun sa mga ganun. How do you do or how do you deal or work with gradient lips? And ano yung effect na binibigay niya? And if you have special like tips or hacks in perfecting the gradient lips, take it away. Gradient lips, favorite ko siya no, when I was starting, definitely. Kasi nung nag-start din naman ako, yung mga idol ko, hindi sila nag-gradient lips. So I feel like it's something, ito yung edge ko na parang, I like Korean beauty. I mean, I like Western. I like mga Kardashian beauty. But I also like Korean beauty. We need to balance it. So, uh -oh. the whole face is Kardashian, but the lips is Korean. So, yun yung, ganun siya, mini-mix and match ko siya. Hindi siya dapat na parang lahat Korean, whatever. Um, so, yun. Uh, my favorite things to use, actually, number one is a red lip liner. A perfect red lip liner, which is sure ka na hindi siya mag-bleed out. So, May mga lips kasi na perfect lang siya talaga yun. Doon sa sobrang sa loob lang talaga. Hindi buong half. Mm -mm. So, a perfect na red lip liner will work. Amazing. Um, and then the next one is, of course, a red na tint. Tapos maganda yun. Yung red na tint, maganda siya if you have a matte lipstick. A matte na nude, a matte na brown. And then lagi mo siya ng red. It just becomes fresher. Even si Catriona, ang look niya nung pre-pageant ng Miss Universe, meron siyang red na tint. Because I want her to stand out among the rest. I don't want her to wear a nude lipstick which magumuha lang siyang flat. I want her uh -huh. na may dimension face niya. So, laging ganun. Um, kailangan lagi lang maiba or something. But now, you know, I'm sharing it na nga. So, you can use a red na tint and then um, also a matte na red na lipstick para hindi agad siya nawawala. Kasi don't use um, a, a, a lipstick that is um, moist. Uh, ano ba tawag lang sa moist? Satin. Huwag yung gamit ng satin. Or glossy. Ng satin pa. Oh, wag glossy kasi mawawala siya agad. Hindi siya magsistain. Hindi siya kakapit. Mm -hmm. Mawala yung value nung in-effort mo na itint na ganyan. Mm -hmm. And um, also don't use orange. I've seen a lot of people na parang pink tapos orange. Paganda lang siya pang Instagram but don't use orange. Um, yun, it's always a red, anything, a red lip liner, a red na lip tint, a red na matte na liquid lip. Yun yung ilalagay ko sa loob mm -hmm. lang. Yeah, so blend mo lang naman siya ng tama. 
And it depends. Kasi minsan kapag sumobra din naman, nagimpula na lahat. But I don't think that it looks harsh. Actually, yung mukhang fresh. A lot of people are afraid of red lipstick. So if you do this instead of applying a full red, mukha pa rin siyang fresh, but you get the effect that you want na medyo mapula siya. So which is also really nice. So thank you so much, Jenny, for joining me today. Sorry sa mga nanonood kung magulo yung kwarto ko, ha. Huwag niyo tignan. Ako lang lang yung tignan niyo. Hindi, ako nakapokus ako sa iyong headband. <laughs> At sa iyong yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you so much. And <laughs> Thank you. Once again, Jelly Eugenio, ilalagay ko na lang ang, ang, um, ang kanyang Instagram page, YouTube channel, of course, and see his amazing works and continuously, lalo na ngayon that I love, na I, 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 I'm sure na namimiss mo yung pagmamakeup sa ibang tao, but I am like, sobrang stunning ang iyong makeup sa sarili. Because, not a lot of makeup artists kaya din gawin yung ginagawa nila sa ibang tao sa sarili nila. Alam mo, and it's understandable, but you slay. Gusto ko yung may mga clouds and, and love it so much. Thank you so much. And I hope to see Thank you, you again. Thank you for taking the time. Thanks so long. Keep safe. And Ay, ingat din sa lahat. I know. Thank you. Bye-bye. It just goes to show na talagang bigat na talagang mga talented ang mga guests ng Slay at Home Makeup Workshop. So I am very thankful. Thank you, Jelly, for gracing this workshop. And now it's time for another challenge as I demo or as I show you how you can do your drunk blush and your gradient lips. So it's gonna be um, it's gonna be called Riza Drunk Gradient Challenge. <laughs> drunk and gradient challenge. Okay, para makita natin. Don't forget the essential hashtags. So I'm going to start. Very easy. So, dependent ko anong gusto yung gamitin. Since nagpowder na kasi ako, so I'm gonna go with uh, powder products on my face. As what Jelly mentioned, um, talagang mga pinks or baby pinks talagang ating gagamitin. So an example of a cool toned pink, I'll show you. This is this Bobbi Brown. As you can see, talagang halos naglalaylak na siya. This is an example of a cool toned pink. But when you apply it on your face, um as in talagang nagbabrighten, as in umaangat yung kulay. So, I will be mixing this with something that is kind of warm. So, I have here my pink sugar na sweet cheeks, which I really love because talagang kumukulay siya. Both are matte shades. So, meron ako ditong rose shade and the peach shade. Ya yeah, apply ko siya dito sa gitna. So, sabi nga ni Jelly, huwag lalagpas sa mata. So, talagang ifo-focus natin siya dito sa gitna ng ating mukha. And then, pupunta na ako sa second shade, which is this one, which is the rose shade, right here. And I will apply this on the middle talaga. So, this will be a bit like darker or mas may kulay siya. So, gusto ko siyang ilagay sa gitna lang para, again, dimension. Again, on the bridge of the nose, kuning extra. As for the lips, I love mixing yung mga uh, different finishes. Gusto ko nagbimix ng matte and then glossy and then, you know, ayoko mag-stick lang to laging matte and matte lang. And I, as much as possible, talaga nagbimix ako ng shades. And so, I personally love achieving this gradient look. So, what I'm going to do is, I will cancel out the discoloration first so parang may even base ako. So, I usually start with, let's say, a nude lipstick. And I will use this, let's say, this main Mendoza because this is really beige. And this is close to, you know, my natural skin uh, skin shade. Hindi siya masyadong pink, hindi rin siya masyadong orange. Just to really give that, you know, good base. I usually blot it para huwag masyadong basa. Because itong kay main, parang hindi siya matte na matte eh. Ipagka parang satin finish siya. Tapos, may mga lip liners. Let's say, this one from Maybelline. Ang dami ng shades sa pagpipilian. So, this one is a bit like pinkish. Oh, that's very beautiful and sobrang bagay sa look ko ngayon. So, this will be my outer shade. So, sinisimulan ko siya sa lighter. And then, I go for um, the deeper shade sa gitna. So, hinuhuli ko siya. This is really nice and pigmented. And bakit hindi agad ito yung nilalagay ko? Because, again, I want to correct any discoloration muna before jumping in the colors. Idadagdag ko na yung deepest shade which is this one. So this is also sort of a uh, cool toned, I know, may pagka plum ng konti. So I will apply this on really the inner part lang ng labi. From there, 
I use my my finger para i blend yung pinaka dulo. Or you can use a lip brush. And ang aking finishing touch as always, I lip oils. This is actually one of my secrets. This is um ilalagay ko yung link on the description box below, but um Colorless talaga to. It's just that gamit na gamit ko siya, kaya akong kulay siyang ganyan. So, ginagawa ko is, nilalagay ko lang siya. So, it doesn't only, like, really keep your lips parang moisturized and healthy. Nagmumukha pang parang talagang bata at talaga plump ang labi mo. Ah! I love it. I love gloss. I never expected that I would love gloss. But gloss, like, yung... Yung hindi mo shadow matte na lips, it just looks healthy and young and vibrant. So I love it. So now it's your turn to take on the Rise of Drunk Gradient Challenge. All you have to do is post your selfie on Instagram and I will repost them on my Instagram stories. So ngayon, sumagot mo na tayo ng mga questions na pinadala ninyo. From underscore Reyes Carla, why do some red lipsticks make your teeth yellow? That's because yung red na yon may pagka warm or may pagka orange. And if you want to cancel or kahit pa pano, wag mong i-emphasize yung yellowness ng teeth mo or ayaw mo wag mo kang yellow yung teeth mo, veer away from yung mga ganong orangey reds. Next from Alex is Alexis Ibon. Alexis Ibon. How will the different how will the different placements of blush affect your look? So as what I've discussed earlier, kapag let's say nilagay mo siya on certain areas na may pagkalubog, mas lulubog pa yon. Also kapag let's say for example, um, wide na yung face mo and then inextend mo pa yung blush mo hanggang doon, yung blush kasi since it's like it's a pop of color talaga, so nagdo-draw talaga siya ng attention. So if you want to let's say paliitin yung pisngi mo, mag-blush ka lang on a small surface of your face and huwag masyadong pahaba or else yung illusion is humahaba din yung, yung pisngi mo or lumalaki yung area ng pisngi mo. And then last question from Monique, Nick, Nick. Dapat po ba na same ng tone yung lipstick and blush? As what I've mentioned earlier then, so it's safer na same sila ng tone para hindi sila too contrasting. But as my, you know, last message to everyone, in the art of makeup, as long as you know how to utilize these colors or these shades, and as long as you embrace the art, then you can definitely break the rules. But of course, may mga guide lang para mas safe and para mas universal for everyone. And so, para meron kayong um, step, stepping stone or parang meron kayong uh, parang beginner's guide. Conclusion, and we've come to the end of this workshop. Number one, maraming salamat to everyone who joined. At talaga naki engage since day one. Sa mga sumasali talaga sa challenges, sa mga nagsisend ng kanilang challenges. Speaking of challenge, don't forget our last um, challenge, the Rise of Drunk Grade and Challenge. Don't forget the essential hashtags para ma share ko sila at ma repost on my Instagram stories. Thank you to our special guests, really, for supporting lang talaga and um, talagang for helping out, for really sharing your expertise. It's been a huge help and without you, talagang hindi siya magiging, you know, as successful. Thank you to my friends in the industry for sharing this workshop, for, for letting their, you know, their followers know about this workshop and even for participating in the workshop itself. Maraming maraming salamat. And of course, um, to you who really like stay tuned since day one. For those of you na Talagang sinasabi sa akin, Ate Rai, I'm not skipping the ads to give back to you for all of your efforts and for all of your, you know, for, for doing this workshop, for this free workshop. Thank you. It's really like the sweetest, you know, thoughts and messages. Maraming maraming salamat for your continued support. The success of this workshop is not just about the views, but it's but it's the impact and kung ano yung magiging resulta ng workshop na to sa inyo. You know what? True story, there's this makeup brand, um, Makeup Forever. I will name the brand. So, may event siya. And meron dung makeup artist sa Makeup Forever. He's now working for Makeup Forever. And um, sabi niya sa akin, you know what, Ate Rai? Uh, the things that I know about makeup is because of your videos. The things that I learned about makeup 
and the reason why naging makeup artist sa Makeup Forever, a part of it is because of my makeup videos. And that is like the biggest fulfillment that I have. Maraming salamat once again. And so don't forget also to get subscribed and get notified for more videos. Ito man ay end din ng ating workshop. But I will always be here of course in my channel. Dahil wala kang choice. It's my channel. I'll always be here for you guys. So don't forget to get subscribed and get notified by clicking the bell button below. You may also follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. Ola try sa kontawi. Once again, maraming maraming salamat. Much love to you all. Thank you for all the sweet messages. Don't forget to not only stay at home, but slay at home. This has been your makeup or your quarantine makeup workshop. See you soon. Bye!